a list of White Stripes songs I really like. <laughs> yes, the wall isn't blue. Yes, there's a zit on my face. Yes, things are looking a little bit clearer. We don't need to bring it up and freak out about it. Uh, let's just have a good time. Hmm? All right, let's do a quick little thing of this. As y'all may know, unfortunately, the White Stripes have broken up. And as much as that saddens us, let's not fret, because their music lives on. If you don't know the White Stripes, they're a Detroit duo who, along with, I want to say, the Kills and the Black Keys, of course there are a lot of bands influenced by this music as well, but with the Kills and the Black Keys, played a very pivotal role in keeping the idea of blues and blues rock alive in just modern rock culture. Hmm? Let's just call it that and call it a day. Basically what I'm going to do in this video is just name off my 10 favorite White Stripe songs. Just list them out. List them out. It's not a top 10 list. I'm basically going to go from my favorites at the beginning of their career to the end of their career. Cool? Cool. On this band's first album, self-titled debut, there are a lot of songs that I like. Jimmy the Exploder, Screwdriver, or Astro. But to me, on that LP, even though it is rough, it's in the moment, it's got a great attitude, the covers are what stand out to me the most. The songwriting here is not as great as it would later become on the LPs right after this one. So I gotta say my favorite track off of this and the first song to start off this list is their rendition of Robert Johnson's Stop Breaking Down. If you've never heard a Robert Johnson song before, I pity you. Check that guy out one of America's greatest blues men. Now on the band's next album, which I've got to say is easily my favorite of theirs, the songwriting got better, the production got heavier, more fantastic, just a great sound and great tracks all around. And I gotta say, one of my favorites from this thing is Death Letter. Jack's slide guitar on that thing is amazing. Plus the lyrics are great. I just love the sentiment of this track, the story that it tells. And the next song on this list from that album, I gotta say, is Truth Doesn't Make a Noise, which I think is one of Jack's most heart-wrenching songs to date. After that, we've got White Blood Cells, a lot of great tracks on there too, a lot of acoustic tracks, and I gotta say, my favorites from that LP probably won't vary too far from what everybody else likes from that album, Fell in Love with a Girl, Hotel Yorba, We're Going to Be Friends, all great songs. Kind of entry level if that's all you like from the White Stripes, but I gotta say, for as popular as those tracks are, they are great and I enjoy them. After that came the album Elephant, and like many of you, I'm sure, that was my first exposure to this band. And immediately after I picked up that album, loved the hell out of it, I went backwards and heard all their other stuff. And I gotta say on that LP, the standouts for me, Seven Nation Army, Easy, easy, Ball and Biscuit, which is one of my favorite White Stripes tracks because it just shows Jack's, just his ability to string a song out for a very long time and keep it engaging, keep the guitar <laughs> solos entertaining as hell, and just really mm, create a jammy atmosphere. And one more favorite I'm going to add from that LP, Girl, You Have No Faith in Medicine. <laughs> oh man, girl! And then to finish up this list, I have to end it with a song that I love so much because I think it's so freaking hilarious. Not only is the guitar playing great, I love the way that the drums back things up, but just the sentiment of the track, Rag and Bone. Just the lyrics, you don't want this? You don't want this right here? We, we, we'll take it. Every time I hear Jack doing that voice, I'm just thinking of it right now. I just like want to laugh my ass off. Uh, I just love the personality he lays down on that vocal. Um, really just makes the White Stripes, you know, not just a serious group, but they can make a track that is entertaining on multiple levels. Now, I know that this list is going to raise some questions, and I will answer some of those. Uh, one. Yes, I like that track, but I like these tracks more than that track. And yes, that album is okay, but I like these albums more than that album. No, I, I don't hate that song. Okay, that track isn't on the list because I like these tracks more, these 10 tracks. Well, I could o it's a 10 track list, I could only pick 10. Well, if I had to add an 11th track on here, I guess it would probably be like, 
I don't know, like uh, Hello Operator. You know, these are my 10. These are my 10. I don't hate that track. I just like these more. Yes, I've heard that one. I've heard that one too. That's just a random B-side that not a lot of people have heard. It's, it's all right, okay? It's just not what I think should be on. Because I like these more, okay? I like them more than that. All right, I like this. I'm done. I'll see you later. You're over.